Hey sightseers, I'm standing in front of one of Wisconsin's most iconic cultural institutions, the Supper Club, a place where things like the relish tray, Harvey wall bangers, old fashions, pink squirrels, and the golden Cadillac are the norm. A place where people are encouraged to slow down and enjoy good food and conversation. A place where it is typical for people to spend several hours lingering over their meal instead of hurrying up and rushing out the door. Traditionally, supper clubs serve only one meal, and that's supper, or whatever it is you call the food that you eat after 4.30 p.m. As you can see, this place is no different and holds true to the norms of the supper club traditions. Since it happens to be a very special occasion for one of us here at the Sightseeing Channel, and we hardly ever go out to eat, we thought it'd be really cool to come back when the doors open and enjoy a truly iconic Wisconsin experience at an old fashioned supper club. An evening out at the supper club invokes feelings of mystery and romance. As we walk in and you look around, you'll notice certain key aspects that contribute to making this an authentic Wisconsin supper club experience. You'll see decor that's reflective of its location and the owner's individual tastes. With the lights down low and the warmth coming from the logs burning in the fireplace, one can't help but feel enveloped by this space. You should know there's a certain protocol that goes along with dining out at the supper club. Expect to walk into the bar area first, where you sit down and order whatever your favorite drink is. For many folks here in Wisconsin, that involves an old fashioned, made either with whiskey or brandy, and taken either sweet or sour. After a little while, you'll be handed some menus, with the typical fare being American food classics such as surf and turf and chicken and ribs. There's no need to get up. Your waitress will be back to take your order shortly. When your table's ready, you'll be seated in the dining room where typically you'll find amazing views out the window. If the supper club you're dining at still follows old traditions, there'll be a relish tray waiting for you at your table. What you find on that relish tray all depends on the supper club itself. Typically you'll find fresh cut vegetables, some sort of cheese spread, and my personal favorite, the liver pate. One should never go to a supper club expecting to hurry up and eat. The whole point is to slow down, relax, and enjoy. One thing is for certain, you'll never go home hungry. Between the relish tray, the soup, and the salad, you're almost full by the time your meal arrives. Of course, that doesn't stop most of us from digging right in and enjoying what we ordered. For me, it's a healthy serving of ribeye steak, smothered with butter on top and a baked potato on the side, cooked just the way I like it medium to medium rare. Now I get some of you aren't going to enjoy having your beef practically mooing at you. For those of you who prefer a more cooked steak, you can always order it to medium to medium well done. This is what makes dining out at a Wisconsin supper club a truly iconic experience. It's the atmosphere, the decor, the amazing food, the old fashions, the relaxed nature of your entire experience, the never-ending supply of food being served to you. These are the things that define Wisconsin Supper Club culture. I hope you saved room for dessert. 
Speaking of dessert, if you're a typical Wisconsinite, you'll probably go back into the bar and order yourself a pink squirrel or a golden Cadillac. And remember, if you drink alcohol, drink alcohol responsibly and have yourself a designated driver. Tonight, Marty will be mine.